probably a small vlog this time working on a signal tracer that is supplied via a transformer a main transformer on 230 volt and 50 hertz uh, here is the pre-amplifier that was made all worked very properly here is the chip kind of TBA not kind of but the TBA 800 of Hitachi um, that's Japanese Japanese firm um, everything completely normal etc etc here is shielding on the front we made with template glued to triplex wood and here another piece of shielding that shields the potentiometers here inside perhaps you can see them at least you can see one of them that's here um, and on the front you have often seen this uh, signal tracer in earlier videos though there was a kind of problem uh, at least the hum and the hum has everything to do with shielding and here we have a kind of hum that when you uh, move the input potentiometer here to uh, the lowest position possible so very low value and here move the other um, uh, potentiometer of the extra amplifier also to its lowest position you hear a very very tiny hum due to all the say classical good shielding um, sayings for instance here is a, is a shield not made of aluminium but made of very thin template and template here there's template on the back side here and there's template here so uh, this is a kind of hobby way to make a good circuit and I have published many videos about how to do that anyway um, the hum is the problem but the hum has everything to do with the position of the transformer I'm more or less sure that I cannot uh, exactly show uh, what happens in the circuit so I have to move the loudspeaker here to my ear and then I hear a faint extremely faint hum on the back uh, ground but when I move the here the uh, transformer to a certain position that hum diminishes more or less fades away and that's what this video is all about here we have a transformer of course you can bolt it directly to a chassis that's never a good idea because the transformer will induce AC currents in the metal plate into the chassis uh, that can give a kind of hum so always move a uh, move or mount such a transformer say approximately a few centimeters away from the metal chassis on a piece of wood or whatever insulating material and then uh, for the absolute minimum um, hum and then I mean hum due to the inductance out of the uh, transformer uh, put up a headphone or get your ear directly to a loudspeaker and then move here move the transformer somewhat around and there is certainly a position in the circuit where the hum is completely gone and that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to study that. Um, this is only a vlog. So in this position, for instance, you don't hear any hum, stray hum. Uh, that is straight out of the main transformer. 
uh, you don't hear any hum when you uh, get your ear close to the speaker or you put a headphone on and on this position for instance you hear a faint hum. Could be that in such a situation the transformer must be mounted in a kind of peculiar way. For instance so. This kind of say triangle position on the board. And especially when you want to make when you want to make an oscilloscope, a homebrew oscilloscope, this is a very serious issue. I have encountered that when in the past when I made an oscilloscope, only a very simple one by the way, only going from uh, 20 Hz up to 20 kilohertz or 40 kilohertz. But the, the transformer caused a um, an AC current inside the cathode ray tube that gave distortion to the dot. The dot on the screen of the cathode ray tube. So here we have in a kind of way the same problem. The, the transformer needs a precise positioning to move out even the tiniest amount of hum. Has of course also everything to do with the way the circuit is built up. For instance when you have a completely metal chassis and not uh, like in this case a kind of hobby chassis with triplex wood uh, glued with tin plate at the back side. That's a completely other situation when you have a completely metal chassis and I mean a steel chassis. That's the best way to uh, mount electronic circuits on due to the good properties of steel, shielding properties of steel. Uh, that's another situation. Could be that in such a case you can mount that transformer in a horizontal or lateral way. No problem with that. But for other purposes it could be that the, the transformer that supplies it all has to be mounted in a peculiar position. I'm going to find it out. I'm ab absolutely sure that it, that it will uh, succeed. And also a good idea when you want to home brew an oscilloscope always always put all the transformers far away from the cathode ray tube. The stray field of such a transformer uh, distorts the, the waveform, it distorts the, the dot on the screen of an oscilloscope etc etc. And when you look to uh, oscilloscope circuits and not the, uh, the schematics but how they were made in practice you will also always see uh, that the transformers are not directly mounted to the oscilloscope tube. So that's very important. Often an oscilloscope tube also has a kind of shielding um, in what we call in Dutch uh, mu-metal, that's weak metal, that's um, uh, steel, weak steel, that can uh, say pick up or um, in, in some way shield the, the plates inside an oscilloscope tube of uh, disturbing electromagnetic fields. And that's what happens here. The, here is an electromagnetic field around the transformer. It induces uh, small voltages everywhere. Also in the tin plate, but anyway. Um, so anyway, this was all that I wanted to tell. Could be that you need to mount a uh, transformer and especially in a hi-fi homebrew pre-amplifier in a peculiar position. And I've done that in the past. There are 
a few uh, preamps that I made where I had to mount the transformer in such a position that the hum level at the output was absolutely zero. And also perhaps the classic uh, problem is the one point earth. So all the shielding, all the wiring goes to the one point to one, one point earth. And in my uh, situation it's here, it's now behind this piece of steel, isolated steel, so I cannot show it, but there is a one point earth where all the currents go to. And it's a good idea to uh, make that one point earth at the uh, place in the amplifier where the amplifier is um, at its most sensitive. And in my case that's here, at the input potentiometer. So here is my one point earth. In many power amplifiers uh, you often see that it, there is a one, the one and only earth point is here at the power supply capacitor. So that was more or less all to tell. Thanks for watching. Pen over somewhat. Bridge rectifier. Transformer. This transformer has a internal fuse. When it gets too hot that internal fuse burns out. That's a very good idea. But anyway I mounted here an extra um, fuse for more safety etc etc